Major Chaffee, assigned to the first Apollo mission, perished when fire engulfed the interior of their spacecraft during a launch rehearsal on January 27, 1967. Sixteen months later, a Saturn 1B rocket launched Apollo 7 into Earth orbit. Astronauts practiced rendezvous and simulated docking procedures as millions watched their live TV pictures of the Earth from orbit. We have you go for orbit here. Go for orbit. Beautiful. This is Apollo 8 uh, coming to you live from the moon. Apollo 8, history's first manned flight to the vicinity of another celestial body. Apollo 9, the first docking of the command module with the lunar module. Apollo 10, the first rehearsal in the lunar environment. And then Apollo 11, July 20th, 1969. 30 feet, two and a half down. Break shadow. Four forward. Four forward. Drift into the right level. Contact right. Okay, engine stop. We're sitting in uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has an image. Rocket Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. I'm uh, at the foot of the ladder. The lamp foot pads are only uh, depressed in the surface about uh, one or two inches. And uh, step off the lamp. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for man. Columbia, this is Houston, reading you loud and clear, over. Yeah, reading you loud and clear, how's it going? Roger, the EVA is progressing beautifully. They're setting up the flag now. Beautiful, just beautiful. Four months later, a second trio of Americans arrived at the moon. Yankee Clipper, I'll turn on my tracking light for a minute and see if you see it. They encountered Surveyor from an earlier mission. Okay, now we're ready to start getting a TV camera, okay? A big smile, okay. Next up, in April 1970, Apollo 13. Uh, well, we're Yeah. 
yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's understandable. understandable. Uh, you, can, you can always use them if you have to. Two days into the mission, an oxygen tank exploded in the command service module. The crew faced the prospect of slow suffocation. At, uh, 141 hours, 30 minutes, ground the last time. Right by the high gate antenna, the whole panel was thrown out, almost from the uh, base to the uh, engine. But using the reserves of oxygen in the lunar module, and with that module as their lifeboat, they were able to return safely to Earth. January 1971, Apollo 14, the first manned landing in and exploration of the lunar highlands. More firsts, Apollo 15, June 1971. The crew carried eight scientific experiments in a section of the command module. They also made good use of the lunar rover for the first time. Well, I see I'm going to have to keep my eye on the road. Boy, there's a, it's really rolling hills, Joe. Just like 14. Up and down we go. Uh, it feels like we need to see the belt, doesn't it, Jim? Yeah, really do. March 1972, Apollo 16. The astronauts landed in the Descartes Highlands. They covered more than 16 miles in the lunar rover, collecting rock samples and setting up scientific instruments. Nine months later, Apollo 17, the last of the Apollo flights. Astronauts landed in the moon's Taurus mountain region. Using the lunar rover, they gathered 243 pounds of lunar samples. Apollo sent a dozen Americans to rove the surface of the moon and 15 others to fly into the grasp of its one-sixth gravity. They took the measure of the moon and in so doing took the measure of themselves and demonstrated the human potential. They brought back rocks, but as Mike Collins later told a joint session of Congress, it's a fair trade, for just as the Rosetta Stone revealed the language of ancient Egypt, so may these rocks unlock the mystery of the origin of the moon, and indeed even of our Earth and solar system. Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo. Their journeys have ended, but ours have barely begun. <laughs>